I would say every aspect of the business that we do has pluses and minuses. So on the e-commerce side, one of the greatest things that we experience is I've never lost an account. Wow, that's amazing, right? But I also have a customer service team. I also have a fulfillment team. I also have a chargeback team. I also have a credit card processing team. I also have a team that builds a platform. So it really depends on, on what your goals are as a person, what kind of investments you want to make into creating a business. Uh, some of our largest affiliates do 15 to 20 million a year in revenue. And they're a single person, just one guy, working out of his house working out of her house, right? That's a, that's a very different human being and a very different job than running an e-commerce company. I, I run an e-commerce company. We've, we've got 20 employees. We currently operate with about 15 SKUs. We'll do, my guess is somewhere between 20 and $30 million in revenue this year on that part of the business. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, it, it is way more work to get that revenue than it is to get the affiliate revenue. Because if you're an affiliate, all you have to do is build an app. And then you gotta put it up on Facebook or Google. And then you gotta get somebody to click on it. Oh no, what a hard job. Get somebody to click on your ad. And then they gotta send them to a website, and that website somebody else did all the fucking work for. <laughs> you didn't have to do any of the work for that. Once they did that click, you didn't have to do any of that work. And then they're gonna give you money, right? So I'm not, I'm not saying that, that both businesses aren't great businesses, and there's not great aspects to both of them, and there's not challenges to both of them. But in, in the end, it, you really have to decide who you wanna be as an entrepreneur, and as a businessman, right, or a woman. So, you know, I, I think there's still as, as much, if not more, opportunity in the affiliate world, in the CPA world, as there is in the e-commerce world, as there is in the SaaS world. All these, all these worlds have so much opportunity. You just have to decide what you want your life to look like every day, because if it's chasing down containers from China, to get them here because they got lost and stuck in customs because this happens to us all the time you know I'm okay with that or if it's fighting Facebook and, and their issues because they changed their mind because you know last March they, they felt one way and they took us all out to dinner and they said hey you know our, the, you know the next 12 months we, we expect to create a billion dollars of potential opportunity in the performance marketing space and then in April they said, fuck you! We want nothing to do with you guys. We're banning all of your accounts and we hate all of you. Because that's what happened. But this is business, people. Not word for word. No, literally word for word. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta read between the lines a little bit. One more question here, quickly. We kinda, we kinda went over this because we talked about the e-commerce opportunity and you said, you know, you're gonna have a floor for consumer, you know, for customer service, a floor for this, a floor for that. What about